Let's take another look at how cluster data can be used to make trading decisions. Here we have the NASDAQ futures. There was a downward movement, the previous low was updated, and then a V-shaped reversal occurred, breaking local highs. Overall, the instrument started to look bullish. After the structure break, a short consolidation formed, followed by an impulsive bullish candle. Then came a pullback, and in this area it would have been logical to look for a long entry in the direction of the uptrend. But something happened. The price started to fall sharply, breaking local lows. Let's look at the cluster chart. At the bar highs we see a positive delta, large green histogram bars and big clusters forming. During the upward move, market buying activity increases, but when the price starts to stall in a range, market buyers continue to dominate, yet the price no longer moves higher. They're hitting a wall of limit sell orders, and as a result, the market turns down. This situation is called absorption of market buying. 